and delegates from the industry and uh, my dear students. Uh, I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks first of all to Mr. Athena Pandian sir for uh, giving me this opportunity to present uh, in this August gathering. This uh, summit definitely it is going to focus on the cutting edge research and technologies which is going to uh, drive the advancements in medical diagnosis and treatment which is going to create uh, a national level collaboration and also inspire new ideas in biomedical field. So first of all, I'd like to congratulate Atima Pandian because since he has started from 2016, it is a very, very, uh, uh, very beautiful journey he had made and he has come to this level. So a big round of applause for such a successful person and all the best for your future endeavors. Uh, on uh, thinking about him, I would like to uh, quote from a great violinist. A great violinist, a question was asked, what is the secret of your success? So he has told like, if I'm not practicing for one month, my audience will see the difference. If I'm not practicing for one week, my wife will see the difference. If I'm not practicing for one day, I will see the difference. So this is the consistency, the perseverance he has uh, had. Maybe from his childhood, he would have uh, inculcated uh, this entrepreneurship program. So I want all the students who are here to think about it because you are studying, you are finishing your studies, you're going for a job, you're getting salary. So that's all it is getting over. So you have to think out of the box. So he's an example for you all. Coming to the uh, summit today, that is the research. There are two types of research. One is already a product will be available. You just do some manipulation. You do some corrections in that. So it is an innovation. You are breaking the convention model. Second one, nothing is there has been done in that area, that domain, nothing has been done. You are inventing something new. So this is something different. There was one surgical procedure, lobotomy. See, this was in 1950s and 60s. Uh, it, it is a surgical procedure which uh, severing the connections in the uh, frontal lobe of the brain, which is used for uh, TT, schizophrenia, and bipolar disease, depression. Now in 1970s, because of the ethical conditions, this uh, lobotomy was uh, taken out of procedure. Not only because of that, because there was an invention after that in the 1970s, some of the treatment has been invented. So this is going on. So breaking the convention. So these are the two ways by which the research can be approached. Coming to the categories of the research, there are three categories of research. One is basic research, the other one is clinical research, and the third one is the translational research. What is basic research? The basic research is the foundation. The discovery of the basic research is the foundation of the science. For example, cytokines, you all would have known, it is the immune system signal protein. This was not, uh, I mean, discovered during the uh, cancer research. Actually, when a researcher, when a scientist was researching on uh, uh, immune system research, he discovered the cytokines and later it was used as a cytokine, as a uh, cancer, um, I mean, immune system uh, signal protein, that is cytokines, which is used for the treatment of many types of cancers. Coming to clinical research, you find a solution to treat a disease. It, it can be a device, it can be a, uh, it can be a physical exercise, or it can be a yoga pro program, or it can be a diagnostic tool. So the, you're finding a solution for a health problem. So that is the clinical research. What is translation research? You are translating the clinical research to the results of the clinical research. You are translating the basic, you are transforming the basic research. The discovery of the basic research has been translated to the uh, uh, clinical research. So this is the translation. So this three, that is basic, clinical and translation research, it is the combined uh, way by which uh, today's invention is focusing on. Coming to the research, research should have a goal, is it not? Research should have a goal. So what is the first thing is you have to design a research. Then you have to find the decisions to collect the data. Next you have to analyze the data. Okay. I will, I will tell you two topics under which uh, uh, you can go into it. Before that, uh, there is insulin crystals. It is called as eye crystals. This eye crystals is coated with a porous membrane which is embedded with the uh, electrical potential sensor channels. So when this has been embedded in the uh, patient, it is going to release the insulin based on the glucose or ketone body step. So uh, next one is micro needles. So these are the uh, areas which you can concentrate. Micro needles for cancer therapy ultrasound micro needles. So these are the needles which uh, releases the drugs 
it is a non invasive procedure and it also cost effective procedure so micro needles next is sir dr arun sir was talking about artificial intelligence uh, deep learning learning machine learning so this area is uh, is is a, is a focus it is the uh, this is the time so each and every era will have one invention type like, no this is the artificial intelligence era and uh, as sir said um, it, it uh, artificial intelligence everywhere here in healthcare industry it is too it has revolutionized the healthcare industry and uh, about uh, wearable de uh, wearable devices and everything almost and um, doing a research you, have, you should have a very good attitude and first of all you should you are guide and this is very very important maybe we, we are not thinking about it the relationship between the guide and the student is very very important the attitude is very important i tell you there was a balloon seller he was having a color colorful balloon yellow color balloon red color balloon blue color balloon so whenever the uh, uh, you know market is dull he used to fly a helium filled balloon so it will go high up so a boy was asking him if you fly a black balloon it will fly up so my dear boy it is not the color of the balloon it is the content inside the balloon which is making the balloon to go high so that content is the attitude attitude is very very important okay so with this uh, a uh, small introduction because we are running short of time this summit i wish you all the best students and i would like to conclude this uh, uh, talk by quoting a poem from robert frost and the woods are lovely deep and dark i have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep i congratulate once again mr athena pandian for this wonderful gathering and uh, you have conducted such a wonderful and entire team i have known some of them and all the very best congratulations thank you thank you so much